What's up, guys? Um, <clears throat> so, uh, I got a couple shows coming up. It's been a while, a while since I've made a video. Um, been super busy with the Necrocosm stuff. Anyway, we got a couple shows coming up, so uh, it's time for me to change strings. And I've had a couple people ask me about the tuners that I use. I use Spurzel locking tuners. Um, they're a little different. And if you don't, uh, especially because when I was looking for these, I didn't know what really they did. Um, I thought they were like locking nuts almost, and I was then I'm very wrong. So. Um, if you don't know what they are, I'm going to explain them real quick. Uh, show you how easy it is to change a string. It should take me, like, no more than a minute to change it. Uh, I could probably change a string. If I broke a string on stage, it would probably take me 30 seconds to change one. Um, so, uh, just want to go ahead and show you really quick um, what it does, how, how fast and easy it is, and explain it really fast. So, anyway, excuse the plate, because look, hoo -hoo, it's like Inception shit. Alright, so, <clears throat> this is the tuner. A little hard to see, but so it's got this knob right here, and what it does is there's a post in there, and the post when you tighten it, the post pushes up against the string, makes it so it won't move. So as you noticed on all these, there's no winding on them at all; they're just kind of in. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna change the string really quick, show you guys how easy it is. So anyway, so we're gonna change this G string real quick. Can't really hear it anyway, but it's not plugged in, but super dead and uh, can't have that so we'll go ahead and number one thing you want to do is first kinda like you're gonna want to untighten it get it loose so it's all floppy no changing strings is super exciting but one person might find this interesting I know I did when I was looking for these so alright now that the strings all loose see it won't come out so what you have to do is Take this thing, give it some turns, and whoop, comes right out. And just to show you, I'll take it apart really quick, show you what it looks like inside. Come on. Alright. So this is it. This little post. And this. And that's all it is. So what you do is slide the post in there. It goes all the way up. Have this on. You don't have to take it all the way off every time you uh, change a, a string. Anyway, so it's super tight. Nothing can go in there now. So we're gonna make it loose. Let's go ahead and grab this string really quick. I use the Ernie balls, the Ernie ball um, regular slinkies, in case anybody was ever noticing or wanted to know. Um, <clears throat> I was using the super slinks for a while, but they were just too. The tension was too tight. Uh, for me. So anyway, we're going to string it up through this Kaler bridge. Oop. All right. Okay, so it's in there. This will go through. It's a little hard doing it like on camera almost. Can't hold it right. All right, so slide it through. Make sure it's in the nut. Go in that nut. <clears throat> Alright, pull it tight. Tighten it up in the back. So it's all tight now. <clears throat> and then we'll give it some tightening. Now, hopefully it doesn't happen, but one thing that has happened before, um, I've broken strings while tuning. Um, I don't know why it does that. It wouldn't stay in tune, it just broke the string. So, uh, obviously that's not very good. Alright, so we're trying to get the E flat. And... We are at E flat. And obviously, you need to stretch strings out in case you've never done that. Always stretch them. And uh, that's the bridge going through. So, look at that boom. And all you gotta do is cut it, but. That's pretty much it. Um, I wanted it to be really quick, simple. Um, it's not an exciting thing, and it's actually video was way longer than I thought it would be. But, it's trying to be informative. 
Um, so if you really uh, are interested, go uh, check out Spurzels. You can Google them and find the thing. Uh, the customer service is super nice, helpful, and um, they got like a thousand different color combinations. You can do like you can do like um, blue, black, and gold, and or like um, they got every sort of color you can think of. So check them out. I love these. Uh, I love these tuners, and um, see you next time.